angry guy here, and society will collapse without men. A quick shout out to my channel members, Airhead, USMC, Leonidas, and Derek Marie. Thank you guys for your support. If you're enjoying the content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Society will collapse without men. This is an actual outright fact and we're beginning to see society collapse and men are not taking the nonsense anymore guys are not paying for dates guys are refusing to pay for meals guys are refusing to just even have outright interactions let's go ahead and jump into the video and they were to ask her out on a date they treat her a certain way they treat her amazingly like they'd pay for her dinner they would give her the utmost respect they'd probably respond to her texts within a timely manner so my point of the theory is you shouldn't accept anything less than that from a guy. If you like a guy and you want him to be your boyfriend, you would want him to treat you like he would treat his celebrity crush. So you should not accept anything less than that. If you know they're capable of treating some girl better, whether it be their celebrity crush or the girl next door better than you, mm -mm, they're not the guy. Absolutely. Guys, they, they believe that men should treat a woman like a celebrity crush. Now, to be clear, any man knows that you should not treat a celebrity like a celebrity. For example, if you're dating a woman who is a celebrity, she doesn't actually want you to treat her like a celebrity. She wants you to treat her like a person. That's the only way that she's going to be able to feel comfortable with you as a human being is if you treat her like a human being. These women don't want you to treat them like human beings. They want you to treat them like gods. They want you to worship them, worship the ground that they walk on. What a lot of people don't understand is that most women don't like one another. They do not like each other. And if you look at the Kardashians, the Kardashians, especially Kim, is responsible for the degeneracy that we see in Western society and women believing that they deserve millionaires and billionaires. Here's the funny thing about that. A lot of women will look at Kim Kardashian and they will say that I am better than Kim. They will think that they are actually better than Kim Kardashian. Yes. So if they're, they're like, if I'm better than Kim Kardashian, then come on, then girl, I deserve even better than Kim Kardashian. Think about that very, very carefully. So even while Kim will settle for less than them, a lot of the a lot of modern women would not even settle for Pete Davidson. Keep in mind, Pete Davidson is basically just a He's just, he, I forget the term for it. He's, he's a rebound guy. That's all he is. He is a rebound guy. But keep in mind, all of these female celebrities are using him as a rebound. A lot of modern women would not date Pete Davidson. A lot of modern women would not even settle for the men that female celebrities settle for. I want y'all to think about that carefully. Very, very carefully. A lot of modern women would never settle for even the men that female celebrities settle for. This is the mental state that they are currently in because they believe that they are better than some of the wealthiest women in the world. Women that are celebrities and are married and now have children, they think they are better than these women. They honestly think they are better than these women. You have a lot of women that say that they would never settle for Jay-Z. Jay-Z, Beyonce can't do better than Jay-Z. The same Beyonce who put out a song basically saying that you're replaceable. She can't replace Jay-Z. Who's she going to replace him with, Kanye? Come on. How many billionaires that are successful musicians, that are black, that are under the age of 60, that have the level of fame and influence that Jay-Z has. Like literally no one. Like that's that's like who like who else are you gonna compare him to? Kanye's not even a billionaire anymore. I do believe that he will be a billionaire again. 
He's not even a billionaire, billionaire anymore. And even, I mean, he's still really rich. He's worth like 400, 500 million dollars. But I'm just pointing this out. Who, like, who's she going to sell? She, there is no, the same Beyonce that was singing about you're replaceable and showing, having it with a music video showing her putting men out and taking everything away from them that she gave to them. What's she going to do with Jay Z? When Jay Z was messing around on her and had, and he had his side women, he basically let her know what was up. Like he was literally doing it right in her face. He was doing it right in her face. And she had no choices. She was a woman who had already had a bunch of kids. And she was older. And she's in her 40s now. And Jay-Z basically let her know she because she can go to the door. The door is right there, B. Queen B, the door is right there. All right. You're you're a femi- you're a feminist. You're an independent woman. You are better, you are better than me. You are better off without me. So go ahead. Go and do exactly what you t- what you've told all these little girls to go and do and replace me. And Beyonce couldn't do nothing. She kept her mouth shut. And her sister Solange, I do not commend what Solange did. She put her hands on Jay-Z. And realistically, she should have been thrown in jail for what she did. With that said, based on what I what I heard, I understand. I'm not, I will never commend her. I will never celebrate her. I will always say that she should have been placed in jail for what she did to Jay-Z. But with that said, I understand. Because she found out what this man was doing. This man was doing it right in front of Beyonce. And he was doing it right in front of her. The only thing that made Jay-Z... Stop creeping on Beyonce. It wasn't creeping. It was right there. And he let her know what it was up. The only thing that made him finally stop doing it is that he could not stop. He could not. He could not stand to see the look of on her face anymore. She looked like a she looked like she was wrecked. She had to keep her mouth shut. She had to keep her mouth closed with him. This is how it was. Beyonce had to literally keep her mouth closed with, with Jay-Z. It's true. It's true. Because he could she, he was he wasn't firm, he was firmly in charge. And she had no choices in the matter. And that was it. He's a high value man. And that was it. Like, this is what happens when you mess around with a high-value man. And what was she going to do? Go and try to claim money. And Beyonce's worth like half a billion dollars herself. She's worth like half a billion dollars. She's filthy rich. You think she's going to go to the, she can go to the court and tell the court that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm broke and I need, I need spousal support to raise my kids. This woman is worth almost half a billion dollars. And you think that she's going to be able to secure a lot of money in child support? I'm not saying she won't get anything. Kanye has to pay child support. But that's like pocket change for Jay-Z. Pocket change. Think about it carefully. And the money wouldn't do anything for her. She's filthy rich herself. She prints money. So that child support, you know, what? couple million dollars a year if that it's not going what that won't do for someone as wealthy as beyonce that won't do anything for her and jay-z will just be (laughs) would just be out there in the streets he would be out there in the streets and that's it okay a couple hundred women just tailing him at any given moment hundred okay and if they know he's gonna be at a concert we're talking tens of thousands Tens of thousands. So what? She can't compete with that. She's a forty-something-year-old woman. You know, her competitions are women in their twenties, teens, and late teens and twenties. She can't compete with that. Her day has come and gone. She is replaceable. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel. If you already have it, liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again.
society will collapse without men. What do you guys think regarding what we've discussed here today? I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Let's talk about them here. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.